next video of Krecht Tech 6. This time uh, I will do some aut automation for the iron production. As you um, will see a bit later, um, I also play some signs to make it um, a bit more clear where which melter uh, is designed for um, which melter is designed for what for example um, long rods or plates or um, met um, ingots alloys iron for example you will see that um, by now um, you can see this makes ingots and plates and is uh, its mainly purpose is to make alloys also so put in the mixture heat it up until it um, becomes uh, liquids um, then the hopper is to um, make sure if it still burns that there is a, a cooling mat material present so it does not um, evaporate or the alloy does not evaporate or the crucible melts now a ceramic crucible that melts is not such a problem but if your alloy melt uh, is lost because of that it's a bit of a problem because some materials are quite precious to get um, chromium for example I still haven't found it sadly because that could give me access to rubber um, with a co coagulator um, so um, coagulator that's um, stainless steel pure stainless steel and the only thing I still need for that is chromium and uh, also manganese so two things in var I, I already have some nickel and uh, you need one ni nickel to make three in var if I yes three in var uh, two iron and one nickel uh, I have here some nickel already I have um, this pentladit ore which uh, gives nickel and uh, some rest products so when I use this I hope to build a crusher uh, once but I still need the uh, diamond plates which I also haven't found yet I did get a diamond dust and a flowered diamond but the diamond is not so easy to find so uh, this eventually gives nickel with a whole block gives uh, three, three ingots at this uh, heat level um, or you can electrolyze it or use the roaster but I don't have either of them for, and for a roaster you do need an electrolyzer so that's far off at the moment so first thing is the automation I want to do um, I need some extra wood planks for that so um, let's get the wood for this um, uh, some eggs oh yeah, now that I mentioned I planted some melons and I um, used uh, I uh, collected some ch ch chickens and made some uh, farm here, egg farm to uh, make um, this thingy, pumpkin pie since I have both ingredients uh, flowing in sugar is made with a mortar uh, on sugar cane so I will need to spend some flint for it I made a bunch of mortars here to make it um, I have some sugar left here 
from our previous production I did. It's uh, much better than um, hunting animals for meat. No, I don't need to uh, search for animals. And if I really need some meat, I can um, do the chickens. Oh, that was the wrong. So here also. It was a bigger tree. A previous tree that was very big. So let's get all of the wood I can get. stuff to make a bustle but for a bustle I need electricity and for electricity you need rubber yeah cobalt brass I should be able to make already since I have both aluminium I have cobalt and I have brass since I have zinc zinc is not hard to find but uh, since the last update um, I have been away for a while so I was busy with other stuff um, Zinc has a nice use now um, Let's see Smelter You can make a galvanized steel with all kinds of steel um, and this galvanized steel is then used for certain machines but um, you need the m uh, material itself um, if you need a plate for example you need a plate as this you are not able to hammer because it's an external layer um, of zinc that is applied on the metal to galvanized and this is used for um, this for example um, for this so some electric engines electric motors some magnet I think it's um, leveled to two as I can see on the kinetic units this is not hard to make if you have um, the materials to make steel and if you have an iridium crucible you can make uh, a smelter to make galvanized steel but iridium is also a metal you do, you do not find every day so to speak so that will not be quite so easy so okay, I collected enough wood to make um, at least two chests, three chests, I want another chest more, so I'm gonna get a little bit extra wood. It's for the automation process which I will show um, right now. Um, as you saw a while ago I adjusted some stones with uh, I replaced some stones with slabs is because the chests then have the possibility to open so I can get my plates um, so what I will do is do this away one chest here one chest here and the same I will do on this spot so then I have the, possibili the possibility with a monkey wrench uh, to automate after the alloys are, are made and I want plates or ingots I just automate the production you can also do the same with iron just pour a bunch of iron in it make some ingots 
for when I need iron ingots, for example, or wrought iron ingots. I sometimes will need ingots, not much, but I do need them. Uh, and then the other thing around. So I'm gonna need a bit more chests. Um, actually, so here, yeah, they formed um, a big chest. But I will need a little bit more wood because hoppers also need chests. Um, let's see, I still have lots of trees growing, so not a problem. Um, what I also did um, between these episodes as I'm um, expanding my base downwards, I have now, I think, four levels. Um, four levels dug out already. One level was a bit um, not so easy to do, but with my uh, lantern pumpkins, it goes much better. As you know, the sea, pure darkness. That um, does not make it quite easy to do it out, but it worked and I made it. And also, I came to the realization that this is a slime chunk. So um, that's the not so fun part. Some levels will uh, get uh, slimes, but the advantage of slimes is this latex um, just as rubber you get latex from slime which will give me um, this rubber and I think uh, no um, this sticky resin is still the best but since slimes um, are a bit easier to get um, this is actually a big advantage. So it balances each other. So now I will make my hoppers. Two hoppers. And let's see. Um, let's put them like this. like this so this automation part has been done um, okay so now I can start to melt my iron so I will now have a semi-automatic production of iron going on let's get my magnetite and my dark ashes I'll already put some in here to um, to semi automate it so to speak um, so let's start with three charcoal Hold on. the titanium smelter is quite fast so that should go quite easy to heat it up quite speedy and also while it's heating up this is my new um, my new uh, steam setup with this more efficient engine. When all three are heated up right uh, at the same time and produce steam at the same time, this uh, will immediately start working. Unless with uh, with this bronze engine, they first needed some time to uh, heat up but this one starts immediately with work and I also had to um, scale up um, place uh, replace the pipes with a bigger with a bigger one 
um, because this has a larger bandwidth. I think it stopped already. Yes. And not any iron production yet, so I'm gonna do two pieces now. So good. Um, so it's heating up now. Um, yeah, so it starts up a bit faster, but I needed to do some adjustments because, like I said, the pipe the bandwidth was too low, which uh, and because of that, it did make some awful noise um, because it did shut on for a bit and then shut off again. So now. They have been fillet again because the iron went liquid and um, they went uh, magnetite and the arcaches from iron you get uh, extra space because iron has a higher density than magnetite and dark ash. So because of this the other dark ash filled in so with this system you actually don't have to fear of um, heating up too much. Um, normally they are also automated, so it also be not a problem. Let's see. So it should get liquid right now. Yes. Okay, it works. So let's pour in some extra magnetite, some dark ash again. So now, as you can see, they are. Um, and the next uh, thing has been poured in. So this is for the cooling. Um, now it's solid again, but as you can see, iron plates, iron plates. So uh, semi-automatically producing iron, so to speak. Let's try with three units of lignite, for example. So it's working again, let's put in some extra magnetite, some dark ash. Now it's solid again, so it's always adjusting and once you get used to it, you can do it automatically. But with iron, it's better to sometimes do it m manually, because Iron has um, this. Um, you have to balance a bit because, or it's three dark caches and seven magnetite, or with this it's not the same ratio, so you have to adjust sometimes with it. So now it should pour everything into the molds because the hopper do it automatically and I won't have um, damage anymore. So as you can see nothing melts at the moment so this means there might be a shortage of magnetite or dark ashes, one of the other. So let's use two lignite coals to adjust. Lignite is actually the best fuel once your crucible is a bit heated up. Um, lignite is the best uh, thing to um, um, play with your smelting process. Um, Okay, that's why. 
So as you can see, it's quite efficient to make iron plates now. As you can see, two of them poured out directly. So now I also have used up my magnetite. But with other metals you can uh, automate this production using this way you can put your hoppers, hoppers full of copper for example or um, that is raw iron I think yes so that means I have enough to make another pickaxe um, since this one is almost um, done, as you can see, yeah, this is why I need ingots for um, this um, three char, um, no, two crushed coal, so one charcoal and one lignite. That's what I need. Um, that should be the perfect formula. Um, yeah, using those signs because my memory is not always. Um, I don't remember everything. So you have yeah different metals, different crucibles. So it's better to um, write it down like this. So six rocked iron, two crushed coal in a um, bronze burning box. Um, yeah, this is not um, right, written on uh, rightly. It must be bronze and then B box, um, but it's bronze box and then ceramic crucible. Um, because yeah, I have so much um, different fuels, different um, crucibles, different burning boxes, so that each one has a different uh, set set of fuel you need per y unit of metal. And each metal has a different weight, so it's best to write it up. So you do not need to calculate or try out it it's each time. Um, so as you can see, it's still not melted yet, but if I throw in some wood, it should get liquids. Um, I thought I would get a dark ash, but apparently not. So not. Um, normally I use two um, lignites, but but I found that I uh, could um, burn my crucible. On. So it's not always the best solution. Uh, what's this? Cadmium. Cadmium is currently a bit useless, so to speak. Hmm. Should get. Come on. Oh, come on, please. Let's hope it hasn't cooled down too much, but at least my crucible will not um, melt down. That's the advantage. Later on I will place a sign on a hopper also, because at one moment I will want to make more hammers and more pickaxes and then automation will also be a nice thing to have. So as you can see it did not 
now because it's probably cooled down too much. So I need one more lignite then and now it should be liquid. But I want to be cautious rather than um, speedy with this because I already lost some crucibles with trying it. Um, and yeah, then. Hmm. Really? Since this says uh, two crushed coal, so. I should almost be at the level actually. And also this one is not only usable for iron, but since there's a lot of space I can also melt copper for example. It's perfectly possible. Um, still no liquids. Hmm. Damn. It's probably cool it off too much. Because that one that broke off. That's the disadvantage of not having a temperature sensor. Ah, now it's becoming liquid. Good. Just stop it at the right time. So now I can get my pickaxe head. Um, it's much better than using ingots, which, which I did before because um, it's in one click and I just need a file to make it, otherwise I needed a fire and a hammer to make it. So I uh, save a bit of time and a bit of hammer durability. So now it's a raw pickaxe head, but I use a file. Uh, I get a pickaxe head and I also that I did show before I need only one um, one stick a uh, wooden stick in this case as you can see a wooden stick apparently you can make a fiery steel pickaxe head gilded iron with the bed so gold has a bit more use but if it is stronger I don't know so this is actually a useless thing to do because gilded iron unless uh, it has some value uh, no it does not has any enchantment like this one also not bronze does have sharpness so that gives it some extra advantage hey wait that rod has sharpness so i could test this if this does, uh, does extra damage i won't do it now but uh, um, i do it a later time but uh, since the main thing of this video was showing this automation so you do not burn yourself um, while uh, smelting um, stuff and you can also do this with bronze later on so most iron I will use to make two hoppers for doing the same to this so there I won't have to touch touch the molds to one tie of boil um, I won't get that um, human alien um, um, boiled to death for example so that's a quite an improvement the next improvement I hope will be rubber which I also don't have problems with that I also won't have problems anymore when washing c copper ore or uranium, um, cobalt and plutonium which are um, um, radioactive 
as you can see in a previous video they caused damage and um, yeah a hazmat suit protect protects you from that so with a weight of uh, a coagulator I can save up uh, slimes slime balls better set set and um, then convert them into rubber with a coagulator so we need 16 liters so one slime ball gives two I think at least uh, three three you get um, three slime uh, three rubber out of one slime ball so three slime balls for one rubber bar which can be used um, I think it's like the same with armor a bit I think um, let's see does it apply hmm. it's not let's just do hazmats hazmats um, uh, it's just a rubber bar and some orange dye that I need boots need not boards um, so I think it's this one rubber boots yes and then also the scuba helmets scuba helmets so this with some iron bars glass and rubber and that does protect you from this radioactivity burning so that's even faster than um, hoppers pull it out um, solid click pull it out solid click but yeah the advantage of using hoppers is that um, this system I can just make a bunch of uh, copper plates for example um, let's see or even stone if I want to skip ore washing um, let's say I want to make a bunch of plates of this metal for example not that I will do that unless I um, want uh, a new item this Krecht egg solar panel but that's end game more of the end game thing but you need this tin alloy which is iron and tin so I'm glad that this game so tin has a little bit more use for me it's the most useless metal you can get of almost useless metal because uh, what is it cell this one for this it might be quite useful um, let's see um, how is that thing made like that so th this and then I need to do this I have enough for of the metal so I don't need to worry about the shortage and what I can use this one for let's take a look so it's not completely it could not completely be useless um, you can also using a machine the canning machine you can fill this with um, oh this is my uh, slime uh, chunk for example and see how much slimes they, they are I should make me a nice sword with a lot of sharpness it's also not here um, 
it's here also not so, let's see um, oh. luckily enough I don't have to level out this place with the black granite that's a huge advantage it's this way I will have to make a hole in this direction um, Y18 uh, okay here let's test oh boy oh boy go into the lava you slime um pesky slimes just give me your rubber so let's see does this work yeah it does work so tin is actually quite useful for this better than buckets they do not stack like buckets but the empty ones do stack just like buckets but they are of course much 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 cheaper and easier to build since you know iron and since production as you saw a while ago requires manual work but tin um, can be fully automatic actually um, since that has a very low melting point and you just need to check uh, sometimes it does not overheat but that is also the buffer but uh, this makes sure it does not overheat um, so lava and what can I use it for this lava so apparently lots of things but I guess this um, should be more the empty cell I think um, so hot fuels or the centrifuge uses lava which you can get basalt, copper nuggets, tin nuggets a little bit more copper, nice tungsten, silver and gold so this and this is the most useful copper and tungsten and maybe basalt also flint, calcite, olive vine and dark ash that's actually quite useful and this gives iron and magnesium so mostly for the iron actually mm, magnesium is not flammable mm. I would expect magnesium to be flammable or to be used in some explosive thingy but that is not the case so lava cells so uh, I showed everything I needed of wanted to show uh, I did not show this but since they are at the lowest heat level um, it will take some minutes for it to start up um, so I won't show that uh, I hope in the next stage in the next level I will have my crusher and then I will opt to place the steam on the level below here since I only need to watch steam production and do not much need to watch the machines once the setup is rightly done so this is my new level below it the other two levels are short with the slimes luckily no slimes here that's a positive thing um, and as you can see lots of space so here I will do some um, steam production here is still the water between the two levels um, and then later on also the smelter or better said the distillery and for that I need uh, blaze rods which I need the nether for I sadly have 
not uh, find any blaze blaze spawners yet so um, that will be for another time um, I also had got some nether quartz and lots of sulfur so that's a good thing for later on for making the sulfuric acids which I uh, will probably need or batteries, advanced array battery lead dust with silver dust which can store a lot of power or fertilizer in the mixer maybe that's one of the first things I will do Cal seeds um, what's this? appetite sodium bisulfate it's more this I probably want since uh, sulfuric acid is made using sulfur dioxide which is made in the roaster um, let's go back to this um, I also have potassium bisulfate dust but I want this one um, hydrochloric acid does not have many use at the moment only in the electrolyzer but chlorine does have some nice uses now as a bleach so we can bleach everything to white wool but let's go back to hydrochloric acids and to sodium bisulfite dust we can electrolyze it to persulfate dust this one is used in a bed with water to wash some ores so malachite for example gives extra copper this extra cobalt depending on the material you use you can get some metals out of it um, zinc for example meteoric iron so as you can see it's quite a useful thing in here Nicolite ore, I don't know if this spawns without the mod it's designed to spawn for Cobalt for example This will be maybe important later on for Inverse But this I won't get I think because mostly it's magnetite But this will be important Sheldon it for example and you also have uh, mercury, mercury which you can use which I also have found some of it that's zinc zinc let's see if there is some mercury um, Mercury smelter. Um, this is also used for some metals. Platinum ore, for example, meteoric iron ore also gives platinum. Dust. Where do you get this? I don't know. It's probably from some mods. Um, so again, this. But this is interesting, nickel ore that you sometimes do get, this crushed nickel ore, it then gives platinum dust. Um, that is not the good one, but I can get nickel ore, I think, uh, spawning with this pentlatid, I think mostly it's also purified but as you as I showed you the bat is a bit of an ore washer which you can then automate with a hammer or a crusher but you first need a bat and a smelter so by the time you get those things you probably uh, have a crusher so better to automate 
because this requires a hopper and such now that I can easily produce hoppers um, I could also automate this a bit so I just need to use buckets and for the rest I will um, wash will just um, spill out and will be I can just collect the ores with um, I just need a redstone clock or something like that which I will build later on it will be for the next video so um, I will leave it here and I see you later all bye